So what you're going to need today is um, you guys are going to need from your house some scissors. You can use tape or glue. I'm going to show you guys how we'll use both to make a banner. Um, but one of those, and then I'm going to show you guys how this is your art kit kind of looks like. Um, and then what you'll need from this smaller bag is you'll need one of the pieces of yarn. So I'm going to grab one of those and then put the rest aside, close it back up, put it back in here. And then in this folder, you can take out your whole folder. So I'm going to open this up really quick. Move those aside. So I'm going to open this up. And then in here, um, for maybe the older kids, but I put everything that's included and then also everything that um, will be used for which project. So today what we're just going to do is, we're just going to unclip this. You're not going to use any of these right now. You're only going to use all this tissue paper. So we're going to take out all of our tissue paper, the whole stack. I gave you guys a lot of it. I'm going to put this back here and I'm going to re-clip it. And if you're a young kid, you can probably help a parent help you with this. And then I'm going to put this aside because I don't need that right now. And then we're just going to use our tissue paper and my scissors. That's mostly what you need for this project. So I gave you guys lots of tissue paper so that you guys can make lots of papel picado. So if you guys feel like you mess up on one or you don't like how it turns out or you're just getting some practice, that's okay because I give you lots and lots of paper. Um, and then in the end, what you're going to do is you're going to put it all on the string to make a big banner and then you can hang it up somewhere in your house. So you guys, I'm going to show you one. This is a papel picado I already made. So this is kind of what a finished product will look like. Younger kids, yours might be a little bit simpler. Older kids, you can make it this complex or you can even try to make it more complex than this. But this is kind of what it will end up looking like. And then you'll hang a bunch of these on a banner. Um, so you can see there's lots of little shapes and stuff. Um, so first, what we're going to do is I'm going to move that aside. You guys can grab a piece of your paper. I'll do this light pink. Okay, great. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to fold my paper in half this way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half this way. I want to be gentle because tissue paper can tear really easily. Okay, great. So that's where we're going to start. And as you guys can see, these two sides have folds on them. And then these two sides have like the loose edges. You guys can kind of see the difference. So first I'm going to show you guys how you can make a border if you want one. You don't have to make one. But on mine, you see I did this border. This is called, if you guys remember from making our lines, this is called scalloped when it kind of goes like this. So I can show you guys how to make a couple different borders. So to make a scalloped border, I'm going to, so I have my folded edge up there. Remember we just folded it in half. And then what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take this and then I'm going to fold it, we call it accordion style, back and forth. So I'm going to do it like that. And then I'm going to fold it back that way. And then I'm going to fold it like that. So kind of fold it back and forth until you have the whole thing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to make the edges on where it's kind of the edge still. We don't want to cut on the folded side yet because that stuff will be in the middle. We don't want to cut on this folded side. We just want to cut on our loose ed edges. So to make the scalped one, I'm going to cut on this loose edge. I'm going to cut like a half circle. Just like that. So now when I unfold it, look it. It has that little scalloped edge. And then I'm also going to show you guys how you can make like a zigzag edge. So I'm going to flip it to the other side. These are the other loose edges of my paper. And I'm going to do that same accordion style folding on the other side. So flip it over like that. I'm going to flip it over, fold it like that. Okay, great. So now, over here, oh wait, whoops, I forgot which edge it was. Okay, so it's this, this edge is all the loose ones. So now what I'm going to do is I want a zigzag edge. You cut almost like a triangle. So I'm going to cut one. And then cut another. And then, when you unfold that, you see how it's like a zigzag edge? So I'm going to show you guys, if I unfold it all the way then, look, okay, I have 
a scalloped edge on there, and then a zigzag edge on the sides. Okay, but I'm gonna fold it back to how I had it before. So I'm gonna fold it in half, and I'm gonna fold it in half. So if you guys, if that's too hard, you don't have to make an edge. I just want to show you in case you wanted to try. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use those same folds to draw some stuff in my thing. So if you guys want to, if it's too hard, you can just fold it in half like this, and I'll do some designs this way. But what you can actually do, what I did on this one, is I, I folded it like, I did all these folds as I did before, and then I cut things onto folded edges, just like you would a snowflake. But here I'll just do one fold in half, one more fold, so it's not too hard. And then you guys can kind of do it however best works for you. Okay. So fold in half. And then like I talked about, um, you can make different shapes and stuff if you want. So I'm actually going to try to make like a butterfly in this one. So I'm going to kind of do my one half of my butterfly. And then I'm going to do another wing. You guys see? So I folded not on the part that has my cut edges. I just want to fold on this part that's folded. And then I'm also going to do a little tiny cut like this to make a little edge. So then you guys can see if I unfold it. I have these little almost like sideways butterflies. Or I could have some like this that are upside down and right side up. So then also, if you guys see on this folded edge, right where I fold in the middle, and on this folded edge, I could do some more designs because these are folded and this is folded, right? So I'm leaving my butterfly kind of unfolded and I'm gonna do some tinier designs on this edge. Now I'm going to unfold my whole thing. And now look at all those other shapes I did are in the middle of my papel picado. So again, if you want, I just want to do really tiny detailed shapes for maybe the older kids. How I did this one is I just folded it. I did the fold in half. Oops, here I'll move this one out. I folded it in half like this. And I folded it in half that way too. But then all those really small folds I made for when I did my borders, the accordion style, those are the ones I cut on. So then I folded it like this, and like this, and like this. And then I cut out these really tiny shapes, which gets all these really tiny little, oops, tiny little things. So I'm gonna do a speed up version of making one more really quick so I can have another one for my banner. Um, and then I'll show you guys how to put it on your banner. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how you can attach it all onto your banner. So I'm gonna raise my camera up a little bit so you can see a little more space. Oh, look, I got all my art stuff. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your black string. It's pretty long, so if you guys make all of your papel picados, maybe I'll use your whole string, but I don't know if I will. So I'm gonna take my string and I'm just gonna do one at a time. So I wanna leave maybe like um, as much as a part, like half of my arm, or maybe your guys' whole arm, since you have smaller arms than me. Um, and then I'm gonna leave that much string to um, tie onto something at the end. So I don't wanna start, so I'm gonna take this part and then this is where I'm gonna start gluing. 
or taping my papel picado. So the first method you guys can do is you can just put it on here. So, and then what you can do is, so the easier method is probably to use tape. I need to take a little piece of tape and then we are gonna glue it on, or not glue it on, sorry, tape it on. So I'm just gonna take a couple small pieces just so that I'm not taping over my spots. And then you can just glue it onto there. Or sorry, I keep saying glue, tape it on. And then we have it. And then so when you hang it up, this will be all taped onto the back. Ooh. Great. And then the other way you guys can do it is that I'm gonna leave a little bit of space in between each one. I'm gonna move that down. And then I'll start to gluing my other one next. So next I think I'm gonna do my oops, pink one that I showed you guys that I made. So this one, we also want to put our string on it. Um, if you guys want to glue, this is the way that you can do it if you don't have tape. So I'm taking my glue, this tacky glue. You can use Elmer's glue. It has a little stuff at the top. Now what I'm going to do is we only need a very small, tiny amount. So I'm actually going to put it right below. And I'm just going to do dots. Oops all along here Again. and then a nice thing about being at home is you guys can to do this as slowly as you need to so i put little dots of glue really tiny along the whole thing and i'm actually going to fold this over so this is again the harder type of way to do it but if you don't have tape you can do it this way too so i'm gonna fold it over Make sure my string is tucked under. Okay. And then you guys may need to leave it to dry for a little bit. Those are the two ways that you can attach it. Okay, and so now I've taped or glued my three pieces onto my banner. And then from where the last one ends, I'm gonna again measure out that same amount of arm length. Here I have about half my arm, that much. And then I'm gonna cut it right here. Great, so I can hang it up. And then I just wanted to show you guys, when you're all done, you can hang it up somewhere in your house. So here I have my three Papel Picados that um, I taped those two, um, the yellow and the blue, and then I glued this pink one, and then I just hung it up in a window in our house. So I just tied it onto here, uh, but you guys could also tape it onto a wall. You can ask your parents. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And now you have a fun little decoration.